basically a Toyota Seltzer, aka the Lexus LS. <laughs> Damn, this thing moves. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Horsepower Cartel. Today we're in a very special car. It's a recent car me and my buddy Imran just picked up. Not really a project car, but a car to be appreciated and which is going to appreciate the value as well, especially after this video probably. Because a lot of you guys don't know what features come in this car. Uh, let me just tell you what car it is. It's a Toyota Seltzer. If, if you guys are watching the vlogs, you guys probably, you know, know that we got this car and some of you guys probably even know what what it's about you know it's basically a Toyota Celsior aka the Lexus LS this body style happens to be the LS430 which is probably like in the second gen LS you could say I'm gonna go through its uh, little quirks and features you can say and there's a, a lot of them well let's just start with the first one I want to show you something this car has which you probably haven't even noticed yet since you've been sitting in the car you know this the swing AC what do you mean? Look, the AC. What's <laughs> yeah. It swings like the one in your house. How cool is that? That's cool. That's just one of the features. But yeah, we're gonna park up and I'm gonna show you a lot of features in this car. It's gonna be a really cool one. This car, believe it or not, was owned by the Dubai consulate. Bought someone uh, in the auction in Kerala. Shout out Malu Gang. You know, of course, you know, me getting a car from Kerala. It's like very cliche. Because <laughs> I am half Malu for all you guys who didn't know. So, uh, yeah, this car was bought at auction in Japan. You know, it's got the, it's got the stickers. I don't know if you, if, if you guys watched in the other video, but it's got the, you know, it's got the Japanese auction stickers. You know, it was actually four stars, which is really good. You know, the Dubai Council had bought it here in India from a Japanese auction. Used it for quite a bit. Now, I don't know if this car was bought with with the amount of, I mean, high kilometers and then like the Dubai Council drove it a bit, or they bought it with low kilometers and drove it as much as it is today, which is very hard to believe because this car has been really well taken care of. Mint. Mint. I mean, for if I tell you the guys the kilometers, you're gonna be like, oh my God, are you freaking kidding me? Uh, Ruel, do you want to take a guess on how many kilometers this car has, or I think you already know? I, I, I don't know, but I know it's like a lot. It's a, it's a lot. Like I it's, think it's the highest a lakh lakh and a half. A lakh and a half. More oh, more oh, more more than my LX. Yeah, I mean it's got one lakh fifty seven thousand kilometers. Anyways, let's let's get through the quirks and features of this car. Because there's a lot of features in this car. A lot. Let's start up with uh the center console. As you can see, everything's in Japanese and I somehow kind of know what, what what's what from my LX, so you hit this and nothing happens, never mind. You hit that, nothing happens. You hit this, nothing happens. You hit this though, it brings up your brightness in your screen settings. So like you can increase your brightness. Increase and lower your brightness. That's to turn the screen off permanently or temporarily. Not permanently. That's something to do with the camera, the rear view camera and then, I don't know. I don't know Japanese. <laughs> Can someone, uh, there's a button that says beep. I wonder what that's for. Just if you want, oh, it's to stop the beep. So, if you want that beeping sound to stop when you're pressing different buttons, you gotta click on that and then the beep goes away. This right here, I remember from my LX, this means AC, I guess. <laughs> now, you guys remember this has the swing AC option, you see it moving well, like yeah, that. Sick. But to turn it off, it doesn't have to be on. You can actually turn it off. No, yeah. why? Let me. Let me just show them the feature. <laughs> so to turn it off, you hit that, and then it stops. And then you can manually adjust it no. how you want it. So I'm going to turn that back on because we like to flex our features. And then obviously you have your settings for your AC controls, low, medium, high. I love it how there's a, there's a setting in between low and medium. And then medium and high. It's like, you know, it's like just in case you're, you know, you're not too cold, but then you don't want it too hot. You know, you got one in between. And then, of course, your 
the way you want your airflow to come out, you know, straight to your face, on your foot in your face, only on your feet or your feet in the defroster. So it's got all the settings right here. And over here, you got your settings as well for your AC, your inside, outside here, you have auto, here you have, you know, outside air, put it for inside. Now over here, as you can see, there's a button over here and over here as well. It's to increase and decrease the temperature off the AC, as you can see over here. Now we're gonna hit I don't know why everything's opposite in this car because if you click on dual, as you can see it says dual over here, right? If you click on dual, you would expect both the ACs to move at the same time. But when you actually click on dual, it only individually lets you control it. But then when you click on it and the dual light comes off, it's actually when you can control both of them. So that's weird. Maybe it's a Japanese thing to do everything the opposite way. Over here we have your CD player and cassette player. Actually, this is not even a uh, cassette player, it's a mini disc mm. player. Uh, I don't know if you guys know what a mini disc is. Well, you know what a mini disc is? Can we just post an image of a mini disc? Um, that's what a mini disc looks like. <laughs> uh, you can change the channels. Tune to obviously, you know, get your... So right now, unfortunately, there's no Bluetooth in the car. So we're using our radio thingamajig right here. That goes in the cigarette lighter. And, uh... Yeah, there's, there's a CD player right here, as you can see. DVD. CD, no, it's the CD, I think. Is it a DVD? Oh, well, yeah, this is the DVD as well. But I think it's only going to play the sound. Oh, there's a CD in there? Do you, no have the CD. CD. Do you have any CDs on your wall? You can watch a movie in there. Yeah. yeah, basic radio controls. I'm not going to get into it. It's really basic. You got your heated seats over here for your left passenger and your driver. This bottle. It's right below the, the the top model, so this doesn't have ventilated seats, which would have the cooling feature as well. Over here, you got your traction control, TRC. I don't know what TRC stands for, but I guess it is traction control. It is traction control. Then you have your uh, buttons over here for power, ECT, which is your regular drive mode, and then snow, which uh, we don't need in this country, so we're just going to leave on ECT. And over here, for your rear blinds, we're only going to please uh, sure. put on the rear blinds. So the rear rear blinds by default co go down when you put it in reverse and then come back up after a few seconds. But it does have a button here so you can manually do it as well. Let's talk about this little thing over here. First of all, before I get to any more features, let me turn this car off, show you some things. So as you can see, when you, when you turn off the car, the steering wheel goes off for an easy entry exit. So when I turn it on, it's a Celsius on the screen with a bunch of Japanese stuff. And then some lady in Japanese is going to tell you something in a minute. In a bit. One minute later. Okay, don't worry. But usually, it says this. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why working. There, you there it is. That's my uh, JDM Alexa. <laughs> but no, that's actually for the... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but from what... Some people have told me this is the uh, ETC for the toll or whatever. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on this, please. But I think that's where it is, and your card goes in. You got to renew it or some, something. I don't know. Something. Over here, you got your handbrake. It's a foot brake, but you pull this out to release it. Tilt telescopic on the steering wheel. Fully adjustable. Actually, it's just tilt. It's not telescopic for some reason. Maybe it just stopped working. It is telescopic. But it's not working right now. But uh, it does tilt. Let me show you some features over here. Over here, they give you a slot so you can put it in your parking tickets or whatever you need. Maybe a credit card. Yeah, your mirror controls over here. These are auto folding. And they actually work on both sides. We actually have it on auto, so when we lock the car, it automatically locks. This is a storage spot over here. A little stash storage spot. I don't know what it's for, but it looks like it's for your coins. And I guess more parking tickets. <laughs> But uh, check it out. The key is actually a smart key. Uh, you don't have to put it in. You can actually just, you know, it has a keyless entry and stuff. Oh, here's your brightness for your uh, dash as well. Pretty cool. Pretty simple, uh, you know, dash digital, not, not digital, but speedometer and analog. analog you know, it's, you know, I like these. I, I love these. Nice. Reminds me of cars in GTA. But uh, real easy to use. You, can, you know, click on these buttons over here on the steering wheel and go through various settings over here as you can see because you're let's see the range on this thing this thing's got crazy range 269 kilometers remaining which I, I don't think it's accurate because i mean look how much fuel we have it's not much and it says 269 nice 
Anyways, it says 269. We're, we're getting an average of 3.1. Over here, we have a button, as you can see. It's on both sides. And let's just, let me show them what it does. I want you to go ahead and hit the button. It does. So basically, yeah. you see it? Look over here. It makes your Whoa. seatbelt holder go up and down. Damn. So you can adjustable like, seatbelt. It's yeah. like super adjustable. That That's crazy. That. Yeah, I chose. And I don't think I've ever seen that in a car before. Believe it or not, the other LS400 had it. The one I had before yeah. this, that had it too. It just didn't work. Let me get the camera back. Now, this car has some more quirks over here. Actually, I got, forgot to show you guys. The secret stash box over there, I guess. Matchbox. Oh, well, yeah, there's a matchbox. <laughs> there, but this place to like store stuff. Here's the ashtray. It comes out. This, uh, this actually has a cup holder, which I found out a couple Good. days ago. Yeah. Ooh. How much is that? Nice. The proper one also, no? like yeah, Starbucks. Everything fits in. You got your armrest here, plenty of storage. Doesn't want to open right now, so we're not gonna open it. Then <laughs> there's a spot over here to keep your sunglasses as well. Nice. Your sunroof, you know, opens right up. Oh, sunny. Works as well. Nice. And it goes forward and backwards, and it tilts. So right, auto dimming mirrors. So if someone's flashing a high beam, you just click on auto, and it will wow. adjust it accordingly. Which is really cool, so yeah, that's pretty much all the features. Actually, let me show you one more feature. So, this car being a long wheelbase, this is the S Class of Toyota. I mean, look at the legroom back there, it's crazy. Rod's gonna get back there in a second and show us how he's flexing. So but the, actually, you know what? Is you gonna get in the back right now? This is your comfy position in the front, by the way. Yeah, I'm like, like you could go to Goa right now. Yeah, I mean, you could go to Goa in a, in a <laughs> Honda Navi. I'm pretty sure this is like. A private okay. jet. So, Rural, you got your leg room in the back. Whoa. A lot of leg room in the back. Wow, this guy's lounging. Put the armors down. There you go. This guy is lounging. Damn. Two cup holders here also. Oh, that's. That's just. I don't even know what that's for. But, anyways, if you want more leg room, check this out, Rural. There's a button here. Just like the Infinity. You make this forward, make this forward as well, the bottom part and the front. And look how much leg room this guy has. Yeah. Insane. Does this come down for for us? No, that's just a uh, But uh, individual ashtrays in the back. Can, ashtrays, yes. can you show them, please? Ashtray one. Individual ashtray in the back. Ashtray two over there. AC vents here. Oh, and uh, you gotta show them the best part for the ladies. Ooh. Yep. There's on both sides. Nice. Yeah. Don't need to carry on light. You have these lights. Don't need to bring light. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's how the car is. Let's give you a few B rolls and then get into the performance of this car. Rack it up, rack it up. I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up. She got her hands on her knees and she bringing a cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up. I got some gas, some packs. I'm up in the greenhouse. Ball it up, ball it up. I'm with the gang. We taking shots off the rebound. F my post to say now. I've been humble too long. Yeah. Tell them all to stay calm, yeah. tell them all to move on yeah. Now we're in the South Pure, we're in I'm actually going to drive it in sports mode, in, in, in manual mode for the first time Put in power, let's turn off traction control And let's see what this baby can do Oh, this lady just happened to hop on the phone <laughs> Oh my god now Let's do a little Acceleration test. Damn! It moves. This thing got to 80 real quick. Yeah. Wow. Let's, let's get a clean run and there's too much cars on the road. I mean, we are in Mexico right now, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we got cows in Mexico. We got cows in Mexico. <laughs> and look at this thing over here. We're all on the left. Thing you can see, this thing you can, it was spotted by NASA. <laughs> I was gonna clean one going in. Of course, there's another bike over here. All right, let's go, guys. Put on the brake. Yep. <laughs> Damn, and this thing's got really nice brakes, I'll tell you that. <laughs> This thing's got a hell of a break. Yeah, I didn't expect it to stop that quick. Yeah. That easily. But this thing just 
box. It just grips and goes. Let's get one last launch in. It might be what five six seconds you know yeah, it should be about six seconds about the 100 yeah. which is really good because this car weighs a lot so i'm gonna drop my friend off the here <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, windows are really slow on this. As you can see, no Lexus badge here. It's got a Toyota badge because obviously it's a Celsius. And the LS430 would be the badge on the back if it was a Lexus, but since it's a Toyota, it's got a Celsius badge. The V8 badge is actually aftermarket. The previous owner actually likes to put on these badges on the cars. My Infinity had one. By the way, I actually bought this car. I've actually bought six cars from this guy almost. I think five or six cars. And Imran knows him as well, and he went and got this car. He said, we have to pick this up from him. But he happens to have all these cool cars. Um, he still has a few more cars that we're probably going to pick up and uh, show you guys on the channel. So let's see. Uh, Interior-wise, luxurious everywhere just because the Toyota is not, didn't cut any corners. It has full leather dashboard. It's got uh, wood trim everywhere. Uh, yeah, as you can see, that swing AC, man, full and full effect. Okay, guys. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, let us know what you guys want us to do to this car. Imran was talking about getting a nice body kit for this. Uh, a lot of people are going to comment below, be like, oh, it's a V8, put an exhaust, blah, blah, blah. But I think this is nice to have a quiet car for once. And it's so smooth. I wouldn't want to, like, mess up the sound of this car. And then it does sound pretty good, as you can see from the acceleration test. The V8 sounds pretty good when you need it to. So I guess we're going to just leave it stop for now. So this is the actual key. As you can see on the door handles, it's got these buttons on all four sides so you can lock and unlock your car while the keys are in your pocket. And as I showed you earlier, you can actually turn the key, uh, turn the car on without the key so you don't need to have the key. So uh, this car also has a big powerful V8 as I mentioned, a 3UZFE. It has about 280 horsepower but then that was back then when J Japan Japanese brands had the gentleman's agreement. So it's 280 but it definitely feels more like 300 so it definitely has more than 280 horsepower makes about 317 foot pounds of torque which is a lot as well so that's where you get that <laughs> damn this thing moves yeah pretty powerful engine and pretty economical i guess because of the way the gearing is set up it actually gives you pretty good uh fuel economy in the city compared to you know other v8s like my Lexus uh, LX470 or the M3, but uh, this is definitely better than that. Another feature this car has, which is pretty cool and which is, you know, apt for a car like this because it is, uh, you know, competing with the S Class and the 7 Series. It has soft closed doors, which I don't think the previous gen had, but this car does have soft closed doors, and uh, I think it's standard on the LS430 and the Celsius and this generation. And of course, um, you know. One thing you'll notice on the dash, it says 180 kilometers per hour, because that was just, that was what these cars are limited to from uh, the government in Japan. So that's how you know it's a direct Japan import because it's 180 kilometers. And I guess with the tune or removing the governor, we could actually possibly go faster than that. I haven't gone past you know 160 in Mexico, so let's see how it is. One of these days, maybe we'll take it out to Mexico and do a top speed run. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Go ahead and like this video. The last video surprised you guys actually liked the Evo video. The lake range was pretty good to the views. Obviously, it wasn't that great. Let me show you guys something because a lot of you guys don't believe me when I say this. Let's go to analytics for our channel. Check this out. Subscribed. People that watch the videos, like, this is this is the thing now. I think it's increased a bit lately because I yell at you guys. Hmm. And you guys are starting to feel That's bad. still a lot. There's still a lot. 46% of the people watching the videos aren't even subscribed. Like, what are you guys doing? 46%. 46% of you guys aren't even subscribed. So go ahead and subscribe. And of course, like the video. And share it. Share it. 75,000.
Yeah, I was get seventy five thousand because we were supposed to hit hundred thousand this year, but hey, seventy five. I think we could still do a hundred thousand this year. We'll yeah, see. We can. So, anyways, uh, help us hit seventy five thousand. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>